So we made a big push for that Monday Night Football gig, mm-hmm. strictly because I called one college game last year and one NFL game <laughs> last year, and it was a 31 nothing blowout in Lambeau, which I didn't appreciate. I, I, I wanted a good game there, but I had a blast with it. And we made a big push for me to potentially get that Monday Night Football gig because we knew it was going to open up. We knew Jason Witten wasn't going to be back there. The fact that he went back to the league, I'm very happy for because there's a lot of people who only knew Jason Witten from being a commentator, not from being a tight end. And I would assume his legacy was almost ruined, by the way. It's not easy to speak into microphones for a living. If it was, everybody would do it. I mean, I'm getting roasted right now by a lot of Ohio State people <laughs> that have no idea who I am. Oh, you just something nobody talks into a microphone. Well, yeah, and, and I do it very well, and I, and I know that. That's why I retired from the NFL in the middle of my prime after making a Pro Bowl. Now, with that being said, there was a lot of execs in suits at ESPN who did not know about me, and by not knowing about me, they knew that I existed. They just didn't know if I was good enough for their air, right? I was an internet guy. Whenever I retired, I had no other opportunities other than Barstool. Dave and Erica were the only people that were like, hey, why don't you uh, learn the internet, how the internet works with us? You run your own affiliate out there in Indianapolis. We'll help you out. We'll teach you some things. And uh, we'll see how this goes. They were literally the only people that give me a shot. So forever indebted to them for that. But no TV networks would let me on air because my tweets were too electric. They were for adults. The way I was on the internet, I did stand-up comedy. I did a tour by this point while I was still in the league. And I said words that weren't uh, nice, they think. They, they rhymed with luck and duck and <laughs> all these things. So there was no TV networks that would give me a shot. And also, I was a punter. Now stories are coming out from producers but at all networks where they're like, we pitched a show with you, but the exec said, oh, nobody cares the guy was a punter, right? And for future reference, I wasn't a punter, I was the punter, so it's something to think about. Um, so whenever we made this push for Monday Night Football, we knew there was no chance I would get it. We knew there was no chance we would get it. But we trended for 10 hours at number two on Twitter for McAfee for MNF, which is not an easy thing to do on Twitter, by the way, because the algorithm is favoring people that have, uh, you know, like the Illuminati behind mm-hmm. them to trend. So I wasn't on the, the list for the Monday Night Football gig until we trended. Then they had to actually take notice. Now... Joe Thomas got an interview and an audition for Monday Night Football. I've heard other people got an audition for Monday Night Football. I'm not 100% sure if Booger auditioned for that before they gave him the gig. I never got an audition. I never got a chance to really try to see if I'd be a good fit with Joe Tessitore. I think they just put my name in there strictly to appease the people of the internet who have been pushing for me. After doing Thursday Night Football, I think I learned that I'm not for everybody, which is what I've learned for my entire life. But man, I feel like I can make a a game better. And I'm also, I I think there's some people that listen to songs, they only hear the beat, right? They don't hear the actual lyrics. For me, some people only hear my delivery. They don't hear the words that are coming out of my mouth because if you listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, I'm probably talking a lot better than the other people that are talking on TV. It just sounds a little bit different as it comes out. Mm -hmm. So I think the issue is those execs that are making the decisions, the gatekeepers that are making the decisions, they're so used to somebody that is just right by the book, so bland, going to say the things, and that was a good get off by that defensive end right there. Let me get the telestrator and circle that person. Look at his footwork. Oh my. Instead of saying, damn, that dude got off the ball a lot faster than his tackle, and for that I think he got a good edge. That's why home field advantage is a big time deal, because you can make some noise, tackle can't hear it. So I think I would be good for the gig but there is zero chance they give me that job zero especially now the more and more i know about the way it all operates i think i'd be good in there i'm just not sure if they would ever give me the gig and i would love that job if it ever came available <laughs> i'm also not sure but it seems like monday night football is the kind of gig where they don't really want you doing anything else but monday night football it's cool with me i think they pay a lot oh yeah oh, <laughs> i mean, yeah. I mean <laughs> that's all they want me to do i mean we'd do some podcasts you know could do right. some podcasts at the house take care of the boys here still run pmi but if monday night football is, is a job that's a dream job monday night football is a dream job just like college game day by the way dream job if you have a real role in the show it's a dream job mm-hmm. it's just uh i'm not 100 percent sure you gotta remember i was rejected from broadcast boot camp numerous times wasn't allowed in was it just wasn't allowed in they said no to me and all these people you hear speaking on tv there i'm the only person i think the only player for the nfl that didn't go through broadcast boot camp who has a job on tv and I've, i'm very proud of that but with that comes things like not knowing the rules <laughs> <laughs> like, i don't know the rules I, I don't know when to do what i don't know how to do what i feel like i just know how to make some things a little bit more entertaining in my own way uh but sometimes it takes a lot of people longer to know that than others did i see that college game day had the highest ratings that they've in a a long time this year or was it ever this year (laughs) coincidence bro just strictly (laughs) purely coincidence purely coincidence 
That's interesting. Purely coincidence. Hmm. 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 That's interesting. Hmm. I feel like the hmm. whole cast of characters is exactly the same, except for. Hmm. We're not saying it. No, 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 no. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. Numbers don't. Numbers don't lie. But in the world we live in, there are a lot of skewed numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get twenty dollars off your first order from Seeking. Now, back to the magic. <laughs> you got people saying they got a quarter of the population of the country really? watching their stuff. I mean, there's there's a lot of interesting numbers being thrown around for things. I loved my time on game day, was very thankful for my time on game day. And I think the reason why I was so thankful, because I know how hard it is to get onto those shows mm -hmm. due to all of the people that make the decisions having to be like, yup, yup, yup. I was thinking, um, it happened with WWE too, my first couple times on there. People hated me, right? Because they're listening to the delivery, they're not listening to the words. So I could be a bit abrupt, and I know I'm not for everybody. I thought about a couple times going on there and just doing the standard, like, oh, like just being yeah, like, yeah. you know, like the super mm -hmm. boring regular. I've thought about that a couple different times, <laughs> like just to see how terrible it would be and like troll, almost troll the yeah. whole thing. It is first in 10. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome football down here. Look at him throw the ball the way. Oh, and in WWE, like when he hits that Hurricane Rana, everybody knows what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just lame asses. I don't know. You got to remember, there's a lot of people making decisions. And uh, a lot of people have made a lot of money making the decisions that they've made. Mm -hmm. So even though the world is changing right in front of their faces, in their eyes, it's hard to change because of how much success and how much money has been generated. Normally, it feels as if the networks are like a year or two behind mm -hmm. what's going on on the internet. And that's why I've always taken like being an internet guy as a compliment. Like, you're damn right. Because over here on the internet, everybody can say whatever they want about Barstool. Everybody can say whatever they want about us and people on the internet. You got to earn your views over here. Mm -hmm. It's not just being handed to you. These are things you got to earn. And I take a lot of pride in that. I take a lot of pride in this operation. I take a lot of pride in what we do. And I take a lot of pride in my platform that I've built on the internet because, hey, it ain't easy to do. You get a lot of bums that are just on TV that have big name, that have big followings, can't move a damn, damn thing. I feel good about what we do. You should. Pat, would you ever consider play-by-play? -play? You know, I thought that would be the right place for me. I really did thought, I, I thought play-by-play -play would be for me. And then I learned after these college games, like, yo, I don't know any of these kids' names. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of these dudes' names. We, we were calling games, and it would even come to game day. It's like, how the hell am I supposed to learn all of these kids? There's like 140 mm -hmm. of them. They, I, I don't know if it was something I knew about. So if it was NFL, I feel like I am very knowledgeable within the NFL. I know the stories. I know the coaches, personal friends with a lot of players and coaches. I think I could do play-by-play -play in the NFL, but if it was college, uh, just go ahead and let me just drop some things in. <laughs> I don't know if I can do the play-by-play. -play. 